understanding of index an index is a quick lookup table used to get record more quickly from a large amount of data based on user needs benefit of index if a table have a small amount of data it can be retrieved quickly but in a large amount of data it's becoming slower in this case index help you to retrieve data quickly in sql index has a small limit that is during update command it takes more time because it's updating index too type of index clustered index and non-clustered index Cluster index short and store date the data in the table based on their key value. It can be created only one in a table. Cluster index is automatically created on a primary key column by default. Non-cluster index is also called B tree index. It doesn't short the data row physically and it allows the database engine to get the data quickly without having to scan the other in the table. This is subject cost without index and this is subject cost with index 0.0032831. This is the SQL server. These are the table in the database uh, catalog DB. Table name is a spec sheet. Right click and go to the design. Yes, you can see in the SCCSL name it's primary key, created primary key. And uh, already mentioned that primary key is uh, automatically created uh, Clustered index by default. So I click index keys. Okay, see that this is SSL num type is primary key and uh, create as clustered. Yes, it means it's automatically created as clustered index. Okay, now close. Go to the new query. Yes, now write code to select all the records from the table. Select start from a fact sheet. Click on execute. Yes. This is only show result and message tab. To display the execution plan, just select include execution actual execution plan or press control plus M. Okay, I just selected execution plan. Now execute this select statement. Yes, you can see there are uh, it takes uh, four, five, six. There are one, four, one, three, one, five records in this table and the execution plan yes the estimated subject cost is 4.497 okay now i'm gonna add higher close higher as a csl now equal to 210659 see that by using clustered index the subject cost is uh, only 0.0032831 yeah, where is the without index it takes 4.497 you can see so if its SEC list has not any index then how long it takes to execute go to the execution plan subject cost is 4.49725 it's uh, same as uh, uh, the all records uh, execution cost okay now now one more records yes see that it uh, display three records it's also the subject cost is 4.497 it's very high so now i'm going to create a non-clustered index on the ssc list column then i will show you uh, how to how long it takes to execute uh, execute this uh, statement okay add and then select the column column is ssc sl long select ssc list okay order is uh, uh, you can put it ascending or descending i just select descending then click ok yes and then type type is index this is non cluster index okay close and then save this table yes it's saved now just execute this record exe statement okay for the execution plan yes now see that index is non clustered index it takes only 0 0.0032836 whereas without uh, index it takes 4.49725 wow okay now i'm gonna show you the sec sl now 
2331151 okay the first uh, statement display based on SSCSL long second statement is based on SSC list okay see that sub G cost uh, this is for just uh, comparing with both statement yes you can see it takes uh, subject cost is 0 0.00328 and uh, here is also 0 0.00328 by using index so you can see without index it takes much much time to execute a statement and with index whether it's a clustered or non clustered uh, uh, it takes very little time one more thing you can use more than one non-cluster index in a table next tutorial i will show you how to use a specific non-cluster index in a statement okay thanks for watching this tutorial